Hello, welcome to this lesson of the Linear Algebra Tutor. Here we're going to talk about the cross product of two vectors. If you remember, uh, in volume one of Linear Algebra, we talked about the dot product or the, uh, of two vectors, which is one way to multiply two vectors, and we talked about that back then. I was saving the cross product of two vectors until now, because you're going to find out that the stuff that we've been talking about with regard to determinants is actually very relevant to cross product of two vectors. Now I know that everybody watching this has probably dealt with this before in a physics course or in maybe in a calculus course, um, but what you, you have learned then is all applicable and all true, but we're going to tie it into the linear algebra concept right here in a way that is going to be very, very useful for you. I remember when I first learned how to take the cross product of two vectors in three dimensions, the formula that they give you is very cumbersome, very hard to remember. I would never know how to remember that, but I'm going to show you a way here so that you never have to look up how to take the cross product of two vectors again. All right, so we're going to have uh, the cross product of two vectors. Now, I know that you probably have seen this before. If I have vector A and I cross it with vector uh, B, like this, then how you get that, the magnitude of A cross B, that's what I'm really calculating here, is the magnitude of vector A times the magnitude of vector B times the sine of the angle between A and B. Now, let me draw you a quick picture because a picture is definitely worth a thousand words in this case. Let's say that I have a vector. I'm going to call this vector A, pointed this way. And these are three-dimensional vectors, so I'm doing my best to draw it on the board. It's not going to be perfect. Here's vector B. Now, these vectors exist in three-dimensional space, and there is an angle between them, a direct angle between them that you call theta. All right. Now what we say is, if we look at the length of A, that's magnitude of A, and we look at the length of B, that's magnitude of B, if we take these two magnitudes, multiply them together, and then take the sine of the angle that falls between them, then what we get is the magnitude of the cross product of those two vectors. And if I wanted to draw that, cro that uh, vector, the cross product vector, it would be something like this. And I'll remind you of this in a second. Basically what this is, this is A, crossed with B, and it's equal to the product of the magnitudes and the, in, in the sine of the angle between them. But the interesting thing is for the cross product, the cross product is always perpendicular to the other two vectors. So that's kind of hard to see in a, in a chalkboard, but basically, or in a marker board. Basically, if you have a vector pointed this way and a vector pointed this way, the cross product is always going to be perpendicular to both of those vectors. So think about it, any two vectors I put, even in three-dimensional space, if I put a vector here and then a vector pointed in a different direction, those two vectors will always lie in a plane.